Hello, everyone. We are on week six of our National Quilter Circle free quilt along. This is a mystery quilt. If you haven't joined us yet, feel free to go back and watch weeks one through five before this. There is a total of seven weeks, I believe, in this quilt along, and we are now on week six. Okay, guys, it's really exciting. Our quilt is starting to come together, so let's get started. Okay, so for week six, we are going to be cutting our binding. Yes, that's what I said, the binding. We're going to be cutting our two and a half inch strips with the fabric, nine of them. You can cut them this week if you want, as per the instructions. And then we will sew those strips together in one long strip and then set them aside until the end of the quilt. Now, something she also noted on here is if you might want to add another border to this mystery quilt later. So that means we will probably need more strips for our binding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until the very end to decide on what fabrics I'm going to use for my binding until I see if I do want to add another border, okay? But this is the week in the quilt along where she has on our instructions to cut our binding strips and sew them together, okay? So after you do that, we are actually going to combine two blocks that we've already made. So let's get started on that. All right, so let's get to the exciting part of week six. Here is where we are going to take those hourglass blocks with the sashing on the sides that we made in week two. We made 26 of those. And then last week in week five, we made 13 large star in the star blocks. So what we're going to do this week is we're going to take those two blocks and put them together. So we will need two of the hourglass with the strips, the sashing. We'll need two of those and then one of the star in the star blocks for each block this week. Sounds confusing, but don't worry. It's really simple and I'm going to show you how. Okay, so now you can see it's pretty easy to understand. So we'll take two of those hourglass blocks with the sashing on the top and the bottom, and we will sew them to the sides of one of our star in the star block this week. So let's get started. Let's go to that sewing machine and get it done. All right, so week six was really simple and super fast to do this week. I love it. Well, here is just a picture of something I hung up on my design board. Okay, so what I did is I took this week's block and I thought, hmm, let's see, is it going to go together like this maybe next week? This is just something I have in the back of my head. I'm not saying this is how the quilt's going to look. Remember, this is a mystery quilt. None of us know how it looks except for the designer. So let's see if I'm right next week, all right? Now remember, if this looks like something fun and maybe something you want to make, you can always go to the National Quilter Circles website and follow the link I have posted here, and it should take you straight to each week's instructions for each block okay and if you have any questions you can go back and watch all the videos i made for each week all right 
Now just remember that this quilt only requires two fabrics, our background fabric and our contrasting fabric, okay? So it's really simple. You don't need a lot of different fabrics. Now in that background fabric, she does have the binding included and I think she said it was three quarters of a yard. So if you wanna do your binding a different fabric than your background, feel free to do that. I may do that. Sometimes I like to do my binding to match my backing. That way it all kind of blends together. But to each their own, there are no rules, remember. Okay, so if you do want to make this quilt, it'll be a 90 by 90, she said. Well, y'all, thanks for watching my video this week. And I can't wait to see what we're going to do next week in our quilt along. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe to Grandma's channel. Like and subscribe to Grandma's channel.